of SWACA 2021 conference attendees. I'm SWACA President Renee Brown, and on behalf of the Conference Planning Committee and the SWACA Board, welcome to SWACA 2021 from Crisis to Creation. We thank you for joining us in what promises to be a week full of connection in a time when it is desperately needed. I'd like to start with a few words about our theme this year. This week is bittersweet for me, as for many of us, because it marks one year since our last conference was canceled for the in-person gathering, and the entire world seemed to shut off like a light switch. In the days before our 2020 conference, many of us were crushed when we realized that it was unsafe to meet. But on a dime, our past president, Kate Hutton, shifted to an impromptu virtual conference. I always wanted this 2021 conference to be about crisis, but after watching the entire SWACA community create a virtual experience literally overnight in a time before most of us had ever heard of, let alone use Zoom, I knew that this year's conference had to be about highlighting how the secondary school peer tutoring community has created beacons of light through this crisis. This year, we've been tossed around some pretty rough waters. Many of you have been through unimaginable pain and loss. Knowing that you are joining us and continuing your work through these challenging times makes this conference so much more meaningful to all of us. For those new to SWACA, you are joining our ever-growing community with a decade's history of centering secondary peer tutors and their directors. In 2021, our first conference had only 100 attendees from the capital area. Since then, we have exceeded our venue capacity with 480 attendees at our last conference that was in person in 2018. This year, we welcome over 500 participants from 59 institutions and 31 new member schools in 19 states. While the work of peer and writing tutoring centers can often feel like lonely work, you are not an island, especially in a year requiring us to navigate in these unknown waters we want you to know that you are part of this vibrant SWACA community, as you'll see embodied in this eight-day virtual conference. Let's preview some of the highlights of the next eight days. Once the conference opens on Friday, March 12th, registered attendees will have access to watch our keynote address. Dr. Perry's workshop, The Mindful Tutor in You, is broken into two videos with more than an hour's content that participants can watch at their convenience. SWACA has posted suggested viewing timelines so you can enjoy the keynote within class time or outside the classroom. You can see those suggestions on the main virtual conference page on our website. Most of our presentations are available asynchronously for attendees to view when their schedules allow. We have approximately 60 of these pre-recorded presentations. In addition, we are hosting six live presentations by directors and 10 live presentations by tutors. All presentations are scheduled outside the typical school day so that all attendees have an opportunity to participate. SWACA also wanted to provide space for our members to socialize and network. So we are hosting a tutor roundtable on Friday, March 12th at 7 p.m. Eastern and a director's roundtable on Sunday, March 13, 14th at 3 p.m. Eastern. We hope you will join us. Please remember that this weekend is the switch to daylight savings time. Tutors, you may not even realize that you are a point of light for your client. Directors, you are North Stars for your tutors. Together, even while we are apart, we have created safe spaces in an uncertain time. I continue to be in awe of you all, and I thank you for being such role models of creativity. With that in mind, SWACA is looking to spotlight directors in our community. We invite all tutors to fill out the Google form posted on our website or use this QR code to tell us in your own words how your director has been creative in this tumultuous time. We directors feed off your energy and hearing how you view your director is inspirational not only to your director, but also to everyone looking for light in this dark. My advice for how to navigate the virtual conference. First, Please watch SWACA Vice President Stacy Hahn's video, How to Maximize Your Conference Experience. That video is available on our main conference webpage and social media platforms. When the conference opens, registered attendees will be sent access to our conference landing page, which will explain our code of conduct. 
All participants must agree to that code of conduct to enter SWACA 2021. As a reminder, all links, codes, passwords, and other attendee-only information may not be shared. Our asynchronous video presentations will be available to registered attendees on Flipgrid. If you have never used Flipgrid before, you will start at their main page and you will add our join code that you will see once the conference opens. You will be sent to our first topic, advertising and outreach. To see other videos, you will select view seven topics under our logo. You can then access videos about topics of most interest to you. Our presentation program is currently available on our main conference webpage for you to review presentation titles and abstracts for each of these topics. As you consider how you will allocate your time over the next few days, remember that while Flipgrid videos will not be longer than 10 recorded minutes, those presentations often ask viewers to pause the video and engage in an activity. So you should schedule 15 to 20 minutes to fully engage with each video, reflect, and give yourself time away from the screen before you start the next presentation. Everyone currently registered for the conference has now received access to register for our 18 live events on Zoom. For everyone's safety, each person must register for each live event they want to join, and only those pre-registered will be admitted. The Tutor Roundtable and Director Roundtable are limited to 100 people, so register early. We recommend all attendees join at least one live Zoom presentation if possible, but you're free to register for as many as you would like. Space is limited during live presentations to the first 50 attendees to register. All live events are free to those registered for SWACA 2021. As was the case during past conferences. SWACA encourages attendees to communicate through social media using our hashtag SWACA2021. There will be several social media challenges that we hope you will enjoy and that we hope bring our community closer while we remain in our home schools. Our first social media challenge is to create a meme that represents your writing center or how your writing center has evolved during our year in crisis. Your creation should be shared on social media and tagged with SWACA2021. We can't wait to see your creativity. Don't forget to download a SWACA 2021 badge to post on your own social media or website to let your networks know that you're either attending or presenting at our national conference. Attendees will also have access to conference bingo and mindful coloring pages and bookmarks to help connect with each other and with our theme. Please indulge me for a moment while I shift into award show acceptance speech gratitudes. There is no way a single person can design and host a conference of this size alone. In this, my first year as SWACA president, I've been incredibly lucky to have the support of our conference committee and entire board. You cannot imagine the number of hours each person has devoted so that we can offer you this platform to present, collaborate, network, learn, and re-energize. Massive thanks to Vice President Stacey Hahn, member at large, Jenny Gornson, Southeast Rep Vivian Blair, and past President Kate Hutton. I am grateful for the 6 a.m. emails, the 11 p.m. texts, and everything in between. Thank you to the SWACA board, Susan Frank, Heather Barton, Stephanie Passano, Seth Sarnecki, Lauren Wilkie, Jamie Davis, and Joe Golomowski. I could not ask for a better team. To our tutor reps, Sarah Abruru and Nico Curtis, thank you for helping us design and run this virtual conference. Thank you to those on the board of our publication, the Journal of Peer Tutoring Schools, the Journal of Peer Tutoring in Secondary Schools, Amber Jensen, Jenny Gorenson, Heather Barton, and Susan Frank. Thank you as well to our editorial assistants from BYU. And thank you to our advisory board, including Rich Kent and our manuscript reviewers. Our first edition is in the works and coming soon. It's important to remember as we, it is important to remember as well that every end is also a beginning. Once this conference concludes on Saturday, March 20th at midnight, it is time to start your next project. As you leave the conference, how will you enact what you have learned at SWACA 2021 in your own center? We invite you to consider joining the SWACA board. We have openings for regional reps from the Southeast and Southwest. 
a social media manager, a website curator, all subject and middle school reps, and a tutor rep. Information about running for these positions is posted on our main SWACA website. If you presented this year, consider reading the call for papers from the Journal of Peer Tutoring in Secondary Schools. Your presentation might have the potential to become a manuscript that SWACA publishes in our journal next year. Watch for more information about our journal. Or the close of SWACA 2021 may lead to you thinking about SWACA 2022 in Boston. The last 12 months have been stormy in so many ways. And yet I have hope. What you have created since this exact moment one year ago is more than anyone could have foreseen. You are creative, innovative, inspiring, and the light our world needs. The waters may not be still, but together we will continue to support each other and learn from each other. Thank you for all that you do and for all that you will continue to do. Have a wonderful conference weekend.